Hey everybody, welcome back to Fixing Things. And today we gotta fix something. My motorcycle. I don't know if we'll get it done today, but we gotta do something. On one of my episodes, I was working on something and I came back in the garage and I noticed there was a puddle of gas on the floor. So I thought, well, you know, it's just leaking out the carburetor. So I shut the pit cock off. When I came back in, it was still leaking. Still leaking. The tank has a, a hole in it or something. I had put air in the tank, trying to get trash out of the tank. Man, I think I busted a seam or something on it. I don't know. But on today's episode, we're going to try to fix my motorcycle. If not, I might just sell it. She's bad at the bone when she runs. I mean, she's hopped up. She's got 12 5 to 1 compression piston, racing cam. It was a drag racing bike. I got in trouble when I bought it because it had a big slick on it and thing. I had to buy some aftermarket parts to put it back together to make it roadworthy. My wife wasn't happy. Why did you buy a bike you can't even drive? I said, baby, you ride bikes. <laughs> but I rode it for a long time. and But I haven't rode it in over a year. And it wasn't because of the gas tank. I had other issues with it, carburetor issues and stuff like that. And I think it has to, a lot has to do with this new gasoline, this ethanol rich gasoline. The evaporation rate also causes uh, rust uh, inside. I apologize up front right now. If I seem like I'm dragging, I didn't get no sleep last night. No sleep. And I got myself in a bunch of chiggers or something on my legs, and my legs itch all night so bad. And got up and put a bunch of stuff on my legs to help ease it. But I'm up, I'm gonna do something. Let's see what we can get done on this episode of Fixing Things. Oh, yeah, plus that tank ain't no good. Which it probably ain't. I got that tank right there. It's one of those fat bob tanks. There's one thing I know is my wife's bike's a fat boy. <clears throat> I gotta get gas three times before her tank needs gas. Maybe a little bigger tank, because my hopped up motor sucks some gas. And plus it's got a little tank. It doesn't have the little dinky pee tank does have the, that is a nice thing, and the, and the tank sounds solid. I drained the gas out of it on one of my episodes. So, let's get the start on it. All right, the first thing I want to do is get this tank off. And inspect it. Takes a Allen key on one side and takes the nut going in reverse on the other side. And it's going to take a deep well on that one.
So this is a, a 1998 Harley Davidson 1200 Sportster and it doesn't have no electronics, no nothing or anything on the, uh, it does have the electronic conversion on it uh, for the ignition. But to get the tank off, you just take the two bolts off, take the fuel off. You can take the seat off on, on this model, it doesn't make a difference if you do or you don't. And get you an area that is scratch free for your tank to sit on. I already drained the fuel out of it. So the vis visible signs of the gasoline leaking, which is still there, was coming down on this side right here. So if we flip the tank over to be on that side of the tank, let's check it out. All right. So all up in here looks pristine. And if you notice right here, we got something going on. Looks like the tank used to be a metallic blue. You actually take some of the paint off of it. And there is a split in it right there. It looks like it rubbed and made a split right there. So this is the tank vent. I think if we uh, put a little bit of air right there and squirt some uh, juice on there, I think we'll see that's leaking. All right, I had to wait for the air compressor to kick off, but let's squirt this on there. And put a little air into it. Oh yeah. You see that? That's not good. So I think we should be able to see where it was coming from. Here's where I cut the frame in half. I thought for sure that my weld would have broke. No, nope, but my weld's tight. So what I did was I notched this with the grinder and cut the frame and tilted, tilted the whole thing up six inches and welded up the thing and welded this back up. But right here, where I didn't modify, that's where it's been rubbing. That's disappointing because I could have just, if it was an easy seam, maybe I can put some JB weld on it. Now, maybe I could weld it. I probably can weld it. But that had gas in it, fresh gas. I'd have to evacuate it with water. So I think what we're gonna do is see if that tank up there fits it. And if it fits it, we'll do the body work on that thing and spray paint it and see if we can't get this thing running. But I was looking at it not just eyeballing it and it don't look like it's the right tank. All right, let's, so let's get that tank down here and let's see what, what it's gonna to take to mount that tank. Is it gonna be easier just to mount that tank and probably to do a pressure check on it too? 
or should I just weld up that tank and put it back on? And probably gonna have to do a tank rise on it. And plus there was some brown stuff. If we go back through that tape, that video a little bit, you'll notice that there was a little bit of brown stuff coming out of there. That's probably rust in that tank. But it's not so bad that we can't fix it. And I did buy a new filter for this thing because I put El Cheapo filters on this thing trying to get this thing to work because the float bowl kept sticking on it. And I don't want to do that. I want the bike to be right. I want to be able to just get on the bike, pull the choke on it, fire the bike up, and ride down the road with my wife. She's got fuel injection. Her bike starts just like that. Mine, not so easy. It's temperamental. All right, let's get this tank down here. Let's take a look at it. I've never even took it out. I took it out of the box, never took it out of the bubble wrap. So we'll look at it for the first time right here. Now, I've had it now for about a, about a month, and I've been doing a lot of other projects, like the Mehal truck. I can see the crossover tube is definitely, uh, I don't know what they painted it with, like chalk paint or something. Looks like it had a nice paint job on it at one time down underneath here. I'm going to put a, a Jesus decal on it. Which, I like Jesus, you know, being Pastor Bill, I like Jesus. I wonder if my fuel cap fits it. All right, it's definitely going to take some sanding. All right, one of these is the crossover tube and one is the vent. It's not, it's not two separate tanks. All right, I put the bolt back in to hold the tank up. And the tank doesn't fit, but it is doable. When it sits down in its right position, it's actually sitting on the motor. Uh, it's not made for this motorcycle, but I'm pretty sure I can make it fit plus i want to i want to leave some room in here i want to tuck the wires up underneath there I, I don't i don't know what they call that but i think if we weld put us a little tab on right in here at that that spot right here put a little tab right on that spot right here and put a little tab on that spot right here i think that tank looks pretty good let's do a walk around I don't want to touch it because it's barely sitting on there. I don't know if I can get up. Dogs are barking at the cats inside. What are you barking at? Huh? Polly Penny? That's right. Greg, come over here. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Get over here right now. Good girl. That's a good girl. All right. 
All right, back to the motorcycle. All the excitement's over. Man, I am tired. But let's check this thing out. Let's throw this, the seat to see if the seat even fits. Not really. According to that, the tank's got to go forward more. Maybe I can squeeze it in there. Now, this seat was modified. Uh, I don't know why, why it was modified. But when you turn it over, you can see how the it's just scrunched up there. The nose of it was cut off at one time. Let me try mounting the seat on correctly and see if what the, the tank looks like. Obviously the tank that was on it wasn't the right tank because this is the first time the seat has ever fitted correctly on the bike. It's actually on the clamp and the little post in the back is, is through, which is good. Uh, so actually, not right there, it's probably sitting pretty darn good. I think we should uh, see about making some things to make it work. Need a sharpie. I mean, I mean, tell me what you think. Do you think this tank looks good or the other tank on there looks good? Yeah, I like the other tank. It definitely had a, a chopper look, but I also like this swooping look right here. That's pretty nice also. I don't know if I get on it, it might fall off of there. Definitely a lot fatter looking. This is, this is a pretty good tank. It's got a nice shape to it. I, I like that. You gotta check and make sure not like half the tank is only gonna be given fuel. Definitely gotta make some brackets for it. But that's what we do here, fixing things, right? Maybe even raise it up a little more in the back. All right, I think we'll weld up some brackets. Don't fall. And we'll put a mark right here. And a mark right here. Center of the bolt. And I want to raise it up the hole to about right there. And I think we'll come up about a quarter inch from that. All we gotta do now is just weld me up some brackets, dishes. What do you think? Think it's going to blow up? Don't want to catch the rag on fire. Go ahead and take It's amazing, you know, one, one fits one side and one don't fit the other. Racing fuel, ethanol.
Okay, it's on. They don't look too bad. Definitely got to get it painted. So let's show you what it looks like up close here. Oh. So we get the bolt coming through. That looks pretty good. And right here, and there's plenty of room up underneath here now to tuck wires. So we got all these wires here. We'll uh, get on the next episode with the bike. It's getting late now. Yesterday, yesterday it rained all day and started raining this morning. I was going to work on the Mihal truck. But that didn't happen. I said, I'm not going to let the day go to waste. I'm going to work on my motorcycle. Don't look, don't look too bad. Kind of looks like a Honda now. I'll fix that when I get it painted. Got clearance both ways. Sits around the seat pretty good. Extra fuel. All right, that's going to be it on this episode. We got the tank mounted on the bike. Looks pretty sexy there, big fat tire on it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It was actually fairly tricky. I still got to do a little bit of modification and I'm probably gonna take all the tins off and get them painted or at least just get the paint, the tank painted black. Maybe a little bit of custom work on it. No, I got a few people. I, I know a few people who knows a few people who, who knows a few people. That bike looks good. We'll get it. I gotta get in and take a shower. I didn't get no sleep last night. I am getting beat, getting grumpy. I don't wanna chase my dogs for everyone coming home. God bless each and every one of you. Got to go to the barber shop tomorrow, so I won't be able to work, finish that this week. But next week, most definitely, we're gonna be able to finish it. That's my, that's my electrician drawer. Got all my electrician stuff in it. I needed some clients on this job. All right, I'll see you next time on fixing things with Pastor Bill. That bike looks good. Get it back. I have to do some editing tonight. And I got a special thing, special, special for uh, something on the back of my F350. Something's coming up. Something big. Something big. Stay tuned. God bless you.